my name is Sandra and welcome to my channel. So um, I guess you can call this my weekly update video. There's my daughter in the background. Um, I, I guess I want to do this vlog style. So right now I'm driving. I won't be looking at the camera as much as normal because I am driving. Driving on the highway. We're coming back from Red Deer today. It's holiday Monday. And um, I just thought now is the time to be able to film because my baby is sleeping. My kids are occupied in watching their iPads and stuff like that. So it's quiet. Um, you can probably hear the the noise of me driving. Sorry about that. It's also raining, which is really good. Um, if you guys don't know, um, I'm from Alberta, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and um, we have severe fires here. Um, so it's kind of unheard of in the history of like, <laughs> maybe not the history of Alberta, but it's not even summer yet. So um, fire weather, what we call it here in Alberta, is usually in August, September. When it's really really dry those are our hottest months it's usually the end of july beginning of august and um, that's usually when we start to see a lot of fires in alberta so uh, mostly in the forest and stuff uh, people will throw a cigarette butt along the highway and a uh, forest fire will just like grass fire tree fire whatever it is very scary because some of these fires were like super close to shore park which is not too far from edmonton and there were 87 wildfires in the province of Alberta um, when it was at its peak, I think. Um, and it's just unheard of because he started, like, you know, the end of April, um, beginning of May, and it just got worse and worse. And we don't have enough people to fight the fire, so they were asking public servants to, like, help fight the fire, which is ridiculous. Um, and we never saw any. Like, I haven't seen any, like, on the drive down Highway 2 from Edmonton to Red Deer, but... Um, they're close by, like definitely not too far away. So anyway, uh, we're safe. We're in the city though. Everything is fine with us. We don't have to be evacuated. But a lot of the people do. They have to be evacuated. They go to a certain shelter and they get uh, money to help them out and stuff. Um, so it is truly scary. Um, and anyway, so um, I just wanted to like talk a little bit about how things are going and like updates in my life. And I think I'm going to do this going forward. So as you may know, um, I will no longer be doing budget videos. Budget videos are done as of now, um, just because my husband and I talked about it and it is private information. Um, it's personal, right? Like it's, it's confidential information that you don't really share with the world. And I thought when I first started it, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll help people um, more than like it matters. Like people don't really care about your numbers, right? Like what are they gonna do? It's not like I'm showing debit cards or credit card numbers online. I'm just showing like what we make in a month. But anyway, so we uh, we decided to to stop, and that's what I did. And um, also to give myself a break and a change, because um, I was figuring that I didn't have time. <laughs> My husband just passed me. <laughs> what a weirdo. Um, so we just we didn't have time to. Uh, do other things so I wanted to do these weekly update videos it was like one of my goals and also my sticker design I just never had time for it so I was like I I want to change things up and like you guys know me I love change I change things all the time and I'm okay with it and I think it's challenging at first but I think once you start a routine it's not too bad so um, I'm just gonna pass somebody here um, but yeah, once you once you start a routine, everything becomes easier. Um, even if you've just changed, whatever, it's, it's fine. Um, but I get bored really, really quickly, and uh, I've been doing budgeting videos for at least a year, if not longer. So anyway, things are changing. And also, I posted a picture on Instagram. I purchased this compact Franklin Covey binder, and it's called the Miranda. And I got it from a lady named Susan on the Franklin buy and sell, and so I'm really excited about trying it out. So I'm inspired by Marsha by Self Plan, of course. You guys all know that I watch her channel as well. Um, she's into real estate, and while I don't do real estate, I just really enjoy how she plans. And um, you know, as a goal setter myself, I I really respect when someone else has the same type of like planning relationship and like go in life. You know, so. Anyway, I um, 
and, and that's not to say like all types of people watch my channel, like people who are retired, people who have small kids, such as myself. I've got like a five month old baby. My oldest is nine. And so it, it's just, I just love to plan. And like I've joined a couple of planning groups and that's all I hear from a lot of people is that it's not like planning is an end to a means. It's more like planning itself, like the very function of planning is kind of your passion, right? Like people who, who are on these planner meetups and stuff, laying down the stickers, getting new planners in the mail, like all of the things, it's just amazing. Um, and that's kind of what we're all here for. And like we enjoy it and seeing other people's process, changing it up ourselves, you know, it's just so much fun. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm still gonna use my classic Franklin um, for now. And uh, I, I can't guarantee that I'll move completely into a compact because I find right now, like I'm using two, two uh, classic binders, one for work, one for personal, like my catch-all, if you will. And um, I use that thing to full capacity, like it's jam-packed every single month. Like month to month, I I can't seem to downsize it as much as I want to. And so uh, I, I can't guarantee what, what it's going to look like. Maybe I'll keep my classic as a reference and just use my, uh, just get down two pages in my compact going forward. I don't know. Uh, if I use the Franklin Cubby inserts, they are pretty small. They are personal size um, and personal wide holds more. But then if I were to get personal wide, you have to purchase from someone other than Franklin. And I really want to use the her point of view and just try them out because it's one planner I haven't purchased yet. Um, and I was also looking at um, what the leader, uh, I'm saying leaders. Anyway, I can't remember the name of it. Maybe I'll post it. I'll link it underneath the video. But um, leadership, that's what it was. So I've tried Seven Habits. I do love that one. Um, but I like the leadership one and I really like the um, her point of view. The only thing with her point of view is I find that big picture on the bottom left corner eats up a lot of space. And I would love for it to be a tracker there and then maybe have the picture on the notes page. That would make a little sense to me, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll just see because the compact is pretty, pretty small. Um, and I'm just not used to it. So moving from a, a, a classic to a, a compact. Sorry for all the shakiness. It's a little bumpy on this road. Um, so anyway, um, updates for my family. Like I said, we are just coming back from Red Deer. Uh, my husband goes back to work tomorrow, and he he works, um, tomorrow is Tuesday, he'll work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or no, he won't, sorry, I lied, um, he works Tuesday, Wednesday, and then he's off Thursday, Friday for his grandma's funeral, um, and he will get um, bereavement leave, and uh, my son is actually off school Tuesday, Wednesday, so he won't go to school until Thursday, Friday. So we're going to try to work it out so that it works. He goes to school, school still. Um, and then I'll be attending the funeral with him on Friday. And, um, you know, it's been about a week now since we've had time to process. And I think once everybody gets together and they have time to reminisce, I think it'll be more sad then. Um, and they'll have time to cry and, you know, feel bad about everything. But, um, I mean, I can't imagine how Chad's mom is doing right now. If it was my mom, I'd be absolutely devastated. So I understand to that point. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening there. Um, we will have date night next week as well. My mom is going to babysit um, during the day as well as that evening. So that's really nice. Um, and um, trying to think what else. Uh, my son Logan is doing good. His next. Um, cystic fibrosis appointment isn't until June 7th so it won't be for a little bit um, we're trying to get into the routine of doing uh, percussions regularly it's been hard I forgot my little percussors um, at home so I didn't pack them with me and I honestly didn't do any percussions this weekend uh, whenever we come to Red Deer it's always a little bit of a crazy like our routines change completely so it's just everything is um, like up in the air and everything changes. It's not a bad thing, I guess. It is fun to get away for a weekend and like relax and not have to cook or clean or do all the things. But uh, yeah, it, it's just a bit of a change. It'll be harder Try to get the kids back into a routine when they go home tonight. Um, we will be busy with like unpacking and doing laundry and all that sort of stuff. So 
that's something that we get to look forward to every time we go home to Red Deer, or come home from Red Deer, I should say. Um, and my son, my older son is doing good. Um, he's right beside me here. And my daughter is good. I posted a picture of her on Instagram. We were actually at um, the Belly Hop Brewery in um, Red Deer uh, yesterday. And I took a picture of her. And she was just all happy and stuff. And um, it was really good. It was a really good time. And I'm glad we got away anyway. So it was good. I'm trying to think if there's any other updates. Yes, this week is going to be a busy one. And uh, we're not quite at June 1st. I was trying to do some planning when I was in Red Deer and my kids just were distracting me and um, I tried to do it before they woke up and as soon as they woke up I couldn't do anything so I didn't actually get to the planning but what I'm going to do in my compact um, all I have in there right now is the monthly and the daily so I'm going to go ahead and plan out on the dailies the entire week and just um, get, I don't really like doing that when I have a compact video or when, I, when I'm in my classic on like a, a day at a time, if that makes sense. So like, if I have a blank page and I plan the night before and then I can like see what I'm doing that next day, I like that better, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, I don't know why. Oh, um, my son is still awake, but he's not crying anymore, so I can continue. Um, this week is gonna be really, really busy. Um, I wouldn't mind sharing some of those plans with you guys when I do my plans on um, Thursday, Friday. So I'll have a weekly video and I'll kind of talk about all the things I do this week. Um, or maybe I'll do that when I talk about my compact. I'm not quite sure yet. So um, that's going to be a thing. On Friday, I'll be doing my, not only my makeup video, but I want to try to do my Sephora haul, which is like so overdue. I was almost thinking I'm giving up on it, but I'm like, oh, I still want to do it. And then also um, showing off all of the Jeffree Star palettes that I have. And then just like a whole bunch of things. There's so many things I have to do. Plus play catch up from last week because my task list I hardly got anything done on it at all, so, um, and I'm always hopeful, I always write more than I should, um, but I never really get discouraged, I just transfer it to the week after, and eventually when it becomes irrelevant or it's no longer important, I just strike it from the record and that's it, and I let it go. Um, so never let, like, if you actually write down plans and don't finish it, never let yourself get discouraged, because um, it's probably the worst thing you could do, because then that might discourage you to stop planning, and that's something that you shouldn't do if you love to plan. So anyway, I better um, end this video here because the roads is actually getting treacherous. You guys, we're getting so much rain right now, which is so amazing. I am so happy right now that we're getting all of this rain. So um, I'm going to say um, goodbye for now. This is my intro video. Um, I know this video was like, I don't know if I can maybe turn it around um, to be like a proper like wide angle view. Like right now I'm up and down on my camera. So I'll see what I can do for next time. It just happens that this one I was driving. Um, but uh, if you have any questions, anything that you want to know, even questions like q and I would love to answer Q&A questions um, during these videos. If you guys ever have any, any for me, I would love to talk about that. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> I know, again, this isn't the best quality video because of all the noise in the background. But if you want to see more of this type of video, probably will be a lot quieter. I can do it like in the comfort of my home or in the backyard or something. Um, it'll definitely be better. So give the video a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. There'll be a lot more to come. And um, click on the bell button and I will see you guys next time. I'll see you next week actually. Okay, bye friends.